Hey everybody and welcome back to Grounds Family Farm. As you know, we got the roof completed on the shed and now we're fixing to start the siding. It's kind of late so we're not going to get much done, but Kimberly's here to help me today. She's got to work tomorrow, so I figure if we can get started, then it'll be easier for me and gr the girls to work on it tomorrow. Um, we found this lovely rough cut cedar. Um, there's a local sawmill, well I say local, it's about two and a half hours away from us, but it's local to somebody. But they had rough cut cedar, and this is their number three stuff, and they had it heavily discounted. Now, the problem with number three stuff is it may not be completely perfect. Like this one has a rough edge on it. Some of it has not. Some of it may have some holes in it. We're going to use what we can, and it's just going to be a rustic type shed. But this was such a good price. We couldn't put any other kind of siding on this just as, as cheap as what this was. Plus, we like the look that it's going to have with the red roof, the red cedar siding which we may end up painting it once this dries out a little more because it will dull down with time. But we got this lovely siding, so we're fixing to get started putting it up, and hopefully we can get a pretty good start so the girls and I can get a lot done tomorrow. Okay, so what we've done is those cedar boards are about 8 foot, maybe 8 foot 1 or 2, depending on the board. The sides on this are 8 foot. So what I've done is I've taken a 2 by 4 on each end and made a stop, and we've measured in between here, and I'm going to line all the siding boards up here so that whenever we put the front and back on they can overlap and finish it off because if we had done the other sides first these may come up too short to cover them so we figured it would look nicer if we did the stops and did that up here is going to take a little bit of work putting in some more boards and stuff to fix it too so i'm going to start tonight about part of the way here and then we'll finish the other later because i'm going to do a lot of cutting and figuring and stuff for that and we just don't have time for that tonight but with this, we're going to hopefully get a few rows put on. That way the girls and I can get something started tomorrow and get this thing hopefully finished up pretty soon. I mean, we are making really good progress on it. I think we're in the downhill slide now, and we're super excited about that. But we're running out of daylight, so we've got to get started. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to cut probably three or four pieces of this to get started so that we can get something started because we are running out of daylight quick and at least give me something to start with tomorrow. We measured between the two, and it's like uh, 7 feet, 11, and like 15 sixteenths or 7 eighths. It, it kind of varies. So I'm probably going to do it at 7 eighths, and then if that gives us a little bit extra room, that's fine. But we're just going to start with that. See, like this one had a couple inches left over on the end, so... Yep. And I'm not sure that these boards are the same width all the way down. I think they should be, but if we run into a problem with that later, then we'll start, we'll break out the table saw and start cutting a strip off the edge of them just to make them all even. But we're not going to start out that way. We're going to just start out pretending Ass like they're right. Yeah, assuming everything's the way it should be. Oh, like this one's like really long. <laughs> the only problem with this one, there's a knot right here on the end, so I don't know how that's going to... Yeah, it's got a rough edge on the side too. Yeah, I'm, that'll be on the inside. But I'm just more worried about the knot popping out eventually. Yeah. But, like I said, we're going for a rustic look. Yep. That one's a lot wider than some of the others. Yeah. I thought about saving some of these wider ones for other projects, but I'll go ahead and use this one. But if there's other ones like that, I'll probably save them and use the smaller stuff. It'll take, I'll see, like this one's like six inches over. Wow. So some of these probably would have worked out okay, but they're not all like that. So better safe than sorry. Yep. I probably say that way too often. But it's the truth, that's for sure. I actually kept these sunglasses on my head to use as safety glasses, but clearly I've not thought about it. Yeah, it got a little darker than we anticipated, a little quicker than we anticipated, so. Yeah. Take off this edge. I think Sheepy hears the girls out there. Huh? Sheepy hears the girls. She's oh. sitting over staring at them. 
They are playing right now. Yeah, I'll leave. this one's long too. I have to brag on the girls though, because earlier today, they went and did chores without being asked. All of them. Well, Kevin fed this morning for the big stuff that required big buckets, but they fed everything else and they watered all the animals. Okay, I think I want to go ahead and start putting stuff up. Okay. I'm going to move this over here then so I can help you. Yeah, you may have to um, use that chair. Okay. And go to the other end. All right. Um, Swap out our plugs. Okay, let me grab that chair. Grab that in. Put it up there, and then we're gonna go to the bottom of this two by four. Like this. Keep going up. Keep going up. Keep going up. It's hard to tell. There's still space in between. Huh? Well, I think it's because this board is warped. The top board or this board? Who, well, this was level whenever we did, so I'm just going to put a couple of nails. Okay. I think it needs to go up on this side. Do what? I think it needs to go up on my side a little bit. Okay, well, that could be part of it. Yeah, it does. A little bit more. A little bit more. Sorry, there's not a lot of power. <laughs> go ahead and put this, and then if you'll hand me that big clamp. Okay. Which is right over here on the side, this board over here. Okay. So I can take this off? Yeah. And I'll get... I'll get this one in place and I'll use that clamp to pull that up where the rest is. Well, I guess it's... Hopefully that is cut straight, but who knows. Sure, we'll eventually find out. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, if you'll hand that here. Do you need me to hold something? I don't know yet. Okay. Don't have a clue. I wonder if we cut that too close to right. That ought to be close. Yeah. So we may have cut that a little tighter than what they need to be. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. If you want to go back down there. Okay. hammer if you have to. Oh, yeah, that would keep me from bruising my hand. You good? Yeah, I think so. I mean, that all looks pretty good. Yeah, it does. Looks like a wall. Start of a wall. Yeah, I just. We hit me a clamp. Yeah. I may just use it. Well, I can't use it all the way because eventually we're gonna. Yeah. It's... Oh. Get where I can. 
where I can, I'll use it and keep it tight. Beautiful. So we got two more already cut, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, let's mix with the heavy one. Okay. Uh, the white one? Yeah. Why don't you butt yours up in there first? Okay. Oh, that one fits good. Let me hit this up a little bit. Okay, that's as far as it'll go now. Oh, this one smells Oh, good. I know what I did. Okay. What? On the others, I, I, I need to cut both ends. One to get the straight because they're not all straight oh, okay. and so that's probably why they're wedging in because they're not square on this end which that's fine for these but the next ones i'll cut the just like the very edge of it all okay well that's good enough i think that surely i can handle that okay if, anything, we, if we need to put another one up we can well i don't know that's going to matter but so just keep it where it's not quite so far above the girls heads it's getting super dark, so we're going to put one more board up, but I don't think you can see very well anyhow. And then we'll pick this up tomorrow, and it'll be bright daylight. You'll be able to see really good. So be sure to stick around to watch the rest of this wall go up and hopefully all the others. Okay, so last night it got super dark while we were trying to get this done, and you couldn't really see how it was looking. So I'm fixing to get started, but I want to show you how it's looking so far, what you couldn't see last night. Look at that. Does that not look amazing? I think this is going to turn out really nice. I know over time this will fade, but if it does, we can always paint it or something later. But I like the rustic look being cedar. We shouldn't have to worry about it trying to rot or anything. We do have a few places like where there's knots and stuff and a little bit of a gap there, but I can always fill those in with silicone or something like that. So it's not really a huge deal. We're going to try to keep things flowing like they are and just see how it goes. And hopefully we can get a lot of this knocked out today. Um, I've got the girls here to help me. We've got soccer tonight, so that might take a little bit of time. But um, y'all saw last night, it was kind of, we were having a little bit of issues with some of the boards. And I'm going to show you what that problem was. Okay, so the reason we were having some troubles last night is I forgot about this. But these being number threes, they didn't square up the ends real good. So this one is cut at a slant. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's not exactly straight. So whenever we were measuring and go to put it in if there's a little bit sticking out or something that's why we were having to wedge them in so i'm going to go through cut a little bit off the end and then measure from that in and cut off the opposite end so we'll have two flat edges whenever we get ready to put them up okay the girls are going to be helping me in a few minutes but they can't really help with the cutting so i'm going to go through and cut a several boards and lean them up over there and hopefully get us going what i'm going to be doing is on one end i'm going to be just cutting it off just a little bit off the end to get it flush or where it's flat and then I'm going to flip them around and measure from that flat end. So whenever I cut it, we'll have two good solid flat ends. And hopefully they will go in a lot easier. I better not put that inside my hose or I may end up knocking them down on us. I may still anyhow. That end's kind of split, so we'll cut this one off short and then... start with this i'll have to go get my little helpers they're out back either playing or doing chores i'm gonna go get them we're gonna get set up and see how this goes okay i've got my two lovely helpers now so we're gonna start trying to put up some of these boards yay okay i'm gonna get this lined up and then you're just gonna hold it in place and i'm gonna put nails in it Ew. 
Yeah, just try, try to hold it right there. Okay? Yeah. This is fun. Huh? This is kind of funny. Okay, watch out. Let me put one over. <laughs> Izzy, don't stand right behind that in case something goes haywire. Out from under there. I just don't want one of these nails to miss the board and something happen. I don't think it would, but you just never can be too careful. So loud! Huh? So loud. A little bit. Okay, got our first piece up. On to our next. Can I do this one now? Yep, hop out of the way, Abs. Let her give it a try. I think what I might do. Here, I'll have to push this up first and then I'll get that one down there. Hey, watch out. Let me see if I can push that on up because this one's kind of weird. out of nails. What? Yep, had to put more in. Okay. Next on. board. This is going to take a long time. Do what? It's going to take a long time. Oh, I thought it was going pretty fast. <laughs> Especially with two good helpers. Like me and like Izzy. For the next one, we have to do this. Do what? Like this on the ground. Yep. As we get lower, they're gonna get. I don't know if they're gonna be easier or harder as we go. I hope they go easier. Push it up. Hard. All your might. Need some help. Okay, hang on. Hold. Keep holding it because I don't want it to pop out. Push yours up there high. Push it up high. Got it? Kind of. Okay, let me go push this. Okay. It's not hot out here. No, it finally cooled off some. Yeah. Yeah, I think we can use that one if we are. We're good. <laughs> well, this one's kind of bowed. Scared me. Hmm. Let me get this. No, let me get this and I'll push that one up. Fingers. I do not want to get my finger smashed. Okay, yes, I got it. Why are they shining? What? Why are they shining? I don't know what that is. I think it's the sap, but I don't know why it does that. It's like powder. Yeah, because it... It almost looks like frost, well, but it's not, it's not frost because it's not cold enough, plus it doesn't melt. Yeah. So I think it's something to do with the sap, but I don't know. It's maybe pretty. maybe y'all can look that up for science. Or if somebody watching knows, leave us a comment. Because I don't know. Like I said, I think it's sap. But... It looks like little sprinkles. It's like yep. powder dust stuff. If there's a tree expert watching. Yeah. <laughs> yep. If you're not. a tree expert, we need your expertise. Because we are not experts at all. I guess we'll do it trees. this way. You know, it's got a little bit of live edge on it. It's That's pretty. the redder side. Hold your end up. Mm. Okay, let me get this end up first. And then... I can't. Huh? Okay. You about had it. Okay, this one, it's probably because it's nailed on both ends. It's it. a little too tight to get up there. So do. we're going to see if we got a board that's the. Nope, we'll have to yes. cut one. Okay. okay, so what we're going to do with this Could is this? I'm just going to jack this up. Okay. Yep, now we got it. Yeah, I 
like there's a whole wall back here almost. Mm-hmm. That is cool. Yep. If we have to jack another one up, I'll just keep this handy. Oh yeah, that was that really wolf one. I forgot to put it to the side. Okay, girls, I've got to cut some more board. Okay, so the girls heard their granddad come through the pasture, so I've now replaced them with a board. I'm going to have a board hold up the other end while I do this end, and try to get this done, even though they ran off on me. You kind of become a second-rate citizen whenever the grandparents are around. But that's okay. Let's see if I can jack this up it's one thing about these bottle jacks they don't get in a hurry got that got that got that and got that okay on to our next one Probably gonna have to get a shorter board to replace them with this time. The thing about though, we got tons of scrap around. Let me bring that jack down here just to make sure that's good and tight. Okay, so I think it's going pretty good. I think it looks really great. I am still going to put another piece of board at the bottom, but I'm going to wait until I do all the sides, and then I'll rip one where I make sure that they all end at the same spot on the bottom so it looks symmetrical, because I don't want, want this side to be a lot lower than the other side. So it's going to be easier just to wait till the very end and rip a board that will match up to all of them, because I don't know how the other walls will turn out yet, because this wall is going to take a little bit more work. One board won't reach, and so I'm going to stagger them so that it's not like all eight foot boards and then a two foot board on the end i'm gonna have like a eight two eight two and then stagger them like that so that it ties it together and it'll be stronger it'll look better and i may change it up to like a six four or something like that i'm just going to see how it goes okay i forgot to hit record whenever i was doing this but these are the boards i put on after the fact i just put a couple screws in there that way it gives me a good solid thing for the other boards now that I got my stopper boards up, I'm fixing to take some measurements, cut some more boards. I'm hoping that I can get this side started. I had Kimberly to help me yesterday because everything's overhead, but I've got a couple of clamps. I'm going to try them and see if that will work to get me started because once I get started, it should be fairly easy going then if I get my helpers back. Okay, this is some of the stuff you didn't get to see us do on the other side. First thing I did over there was make sure that this is level. We're basically level there, so that's the first thing is make sure level, and then I lined up the front board, and then as long as it was squared up, it, everything flowed pretty good on the other side, so we're going to try that again on this side, see how it goes. Like I said, this side's going to be a little bit harder because I don't have any help to get it started. We'll see if I can do it with clamps. Okay. one on here to make sure that doesn't fall while I get my level again. That all looks pretty good, so I'm going to Put a clamp on that to hold it, and I'm fixing to see if I can get this thing nailed up there. Okay, wish me luck. That's still good. Okay, I think it's all good now. 
Okay, well, at least we got our first board up, so now it's just a bunch of cutting. So I'm gonna get the cutting done and I'll bring you back then. Okay, so my help's still gone, but in all honesty, there's not just a ton they probably could have done on this part anyhow, just for the simple fact. It's gonna be on a ladder and in a chair and this high over their head, I don't think they could have done it. So we're gonna try to use clamps and get this done. If it doesn't work out, we'll just have to wait till Kimberly is back home. So that we can do it. But I'm hoping that these clamps work out. Cause I really want this done. This needs pulled up a little bit, so. There we go, got a good tight seal now. Oh, look who's back. My little helpers are on their way back. I got a few of these I gotta do before y'all are able to help again. Ran out of nails, but we are back in business now. This one's going to take some work. Hoping it's that cedar that's making this so creaky because it didn't creak like this before, but which it'll be more stable once we actually get on the ground because I've just got some little legs holding up and there's more weight. Those legs are probably not the best for it. There's a little bit of a gap there, but it's not terrible. Yeah, I think what the problem with this is, is we probably compounded the problem whenever we had that one that was warped and we jacked it around. And I think we created this gap problem on the end. But the bottom board I'm going to rip to the right width. The fact that it's going to be ripped to the right size, we'll be able to fix it on the bottom where it'll still line up even. Okay, another side done. Okay, sorry, I had to take my phone off the tripod to show you this. But yeah, you can see down here, we created that problem at the bottom. What happened is the middle had bowed down and I didn't get it pushed back up good enough at the top. So we created a gap. But like I said, I'm going to take a board and what we'll do, whatever our bottom line is, we'll do and we'll just cut, we'll measure and cut it so that it fits in there and it'll line up perfectly at the bottom or mostly perfectly. But so far we've got two side walls down. I don't know that I can do the front and back on my own because it's going to take a little more work and I may have to have Kimberly's help to be able to do that. But we're fixing to take a break for lunch. Not sure what we'll do this afternoon, but stick around and you'll find out.
Well, as we told y'all before, we were running low on hay, so we decided to run over here to the hay field and grab some hay, and we decided to bring y'all along with us. We don't go through a lot of hay, so I've just brought the small trailer. I'll load up some bales. We'll roll it off at the house and come back with the tractor and get another one. Whenever I just need a few belts, I'm home with a little trailer. I always put the three on straight and then one across the back to hold them on. And when I get home, we'll push them off by hand. That's what you got to do when you only got one tractor. Okay, now y'all get to see how I unload it when my tractor still in the field. Usually what happens is the first bell kind of stops right there and they all land against it, but these just kind of went haywire because they're fairly freshly bailed and nice and tight, so they rolled really well. You saw us bring the hay home yesterday. We ran out of time because we had to get to soccer, so we're fixing to put some out. And then I'm gonna to try to straighten up that mess I made. Like I said, generally whenever I roll them off, usually the first one goes and kind of stops. There's a little pile of rocks there and it stops against it and all the others stop there but these just went crazy blocking the drive out to the cow pasture so I'm going to put out what we got to put out for the animals and then I'm going to straighten all that up so we're going to bring you along for that a lot of people cut off the net wrap but I like to just unwrap it because it keeps it in one piece and it just seems easier to do and it's really not that hard to do so and when it's freshly baled hay which this has been this year but not right away. It's usually pretty easy after you get it started. Yeah. Ouch. 
Which this is tearing all the pieces for some reason. It's weird. May I have to cut this. Do what? And you may have to cut some of it. Yeah, this never happens like this. Uh-uh. We'll show you on the next one. Hopefully it'll be easier because I don't know what's up with this, but yeah, we always just It usually unrolling. just comes off in one good little swoop. Yeah. over there. if this one does any better. Hopefully. I can find the end. No.
expect that hey. nice to them. We <laughs> have rascal. Yeah. Rascal's gonna move you out of the way in a minute, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, leave him alone. <laughs> Good grief. <laughs> He's like, yeah. I just wanna play. <laughs> <laughs> Rascal don't want to play, buddy. No. Blizzard. Blizzard. He doesn't want to play. He's hungry. Pulling the hay out with his mouth. Yeah. He's like, they're eating it. Why well, shouldn't I? Yeah. He's crazy. Mm -hmm. It does smell fresh, though. So you got to see we got a lot of work done on the shed. I told y'all we got this number three cedar heavily discounted, but it is looking great on this building. I think the whole building is going to turn out nice. It's going to have a nice somewhat rustic look but with that pretty red roof i noticed whenever he's driving down the highway as soon as you round the corner all that you can see is a bright red roof so it it's really nice and we kind of got the look that we're wanting going still got a lot to do on it but we've got a lot of stuff to take care of we brought you along as we brought some hay home got the hay put out to the animals we're very thankful that my dad has cattle and does his own hay so whenever we need hay it's easy just run to the pasture and get some um, some people may say it needs to be kept in a barn um, my dad's been raising cattle for years and we've never had a barn to put hay in eventually over time you will lose a little bit on the bottom from where it rots but as long as it's out in the open you don't really have to deal with a whole lot of mold or anything like that so works out perfect for us and we just don't have a barn to put in because he puts up i don't know depending on the year anywhere from 800 to 1200 round bales of hay and there's just that would take a lot of barn space to do that but we're super thankful that he has that available for us where we can feed our animals that and it saves a lot of cost on that but we've got some other stuff to take care of today. We appreciate you watching, and we'll catch you next time on Grounds Family Farm. Bye. Bye, guys.